All right, it's time for our first hot topic, and a social psychologist, Dr. Law Mefo, has joined me this morning to take a look at the lists, uh, well, the portfolios assigned to Tinubu's ministerial list, um, those who that were brought out, screened, and have successfully made the list, and now we now have their portfolios. What offices should they be uh, handling? Now we know. We've been wanting to know. Now we know. And uh, Mr. Lomifo will be joining me to take a look at some takeaways from this uh, list released by the president. Hello, Mr. Lomifo. Good to have you join us. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, Nigerians. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you for joining us. Well, you've seen that list. Um, it's no longer speculative stuff. It's no longer speculation. It has led the realm of speculation to reality. Uh, the yeah. secretary to the government, secretary to the government of the federation, uh, Mr. George Akume, released it on Wednesday, and they'll be sworn in on Monday. They'll be sworn in on Monday, and so we we, we saw some very strange things there. Yeah. Uh, 33 ministries is now what we have as against 27 that we had under the former administration. New ministries have been created. Ministries like Minister uh, the, the Marine and Blue Economy, Ministry of Art, Culture and Creative Economy. So these are some of the new ministries that have been created. We also have for the first time in 47 years a Salzana. Uh, being the minister for the FCT, uh, Nisa Mwike, the former governor, immediate past governor of River State. Talk to us about what you've seen. What are your yeah. takeaways from the list as we've seen it so far? Yeah, well, I think um, the list is uh, not... Uh, it, 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 let me just say... Uh, uh, the way the French would uh, describe um, a moment like this uh, is a so-so list, come see, come sir, not too good, not too bad. It's an average uh, list and um, deployment, uh, also not uh, quite, uh, um, should I say, uh, let me not say uninspiring, but... Um, uh, I, I see too many uh, square pegs and round holes. Um, first, let me start with where I think uh, the president uh, got it right. right. Um, about four uh, to five uh, deployments. Um, I think uh, the deployment of uh, Wale to, um, to economy uh, as Minister of Finance is quite appropriate. Hmm. Uh, deployment of uh, Professor Mokhtar the former um, uh, DG of a uh, law school and former VC of Pace University to education. It's quite appropriate. I think also that um, the um, deployment of um, uh, one or two other people, very, quite, you know, fairly appropriate. Um, but I see there are some people I really would uh, have uh, in uh, other positions. For example, Tele Alake. You know, for me, it's, it's just a, the natural uh, man in that team to run information mm -hmm. for me, you know. Uh, I say so because um, he is a, a, a very accomplished uh, journalist, very, very accomplished, and um, he knows his way um, around uh, public and strategic communication. So I would have preferred that um, he is deployed to information rather than to solid minerals, because I don't know what you'll be doing in solid minerals, as a matter of fact. I don't know. Then I also, you know, somebody like uh, Bosun, um, Bosun uh, Tijani is a global uh, figure where he comes to ICT. His deployment to communication is quite uh, apt. That is where he should go. But, uh, you know, the, the, the problems we have in the country I don't see strategic uh, deployment that really um, point to the fact that uh, the president is uh, strategically determined to solve uh, many of those, for example, insecurity. The Minister of Defense and the Minister of State for Defense, you know, a large, you know, uh, Metawale. Bajudu, uh, you know, you know, 
Uh, no, the main minister is uh, Bagudo, and his former uh, governor, uh, I think, uh, B. then uh, you have a Metawale, uh, former uh, governor of, um, of uh, Zanfara. Mm. You know, He's a minister of state you know, defense, while Mohamed Badaru is yes, minister of defense. State, uh, mm. Badaru, Badaru is the main minister, then uh, Metawale is uh, the junior minister there, so mm. to speak. I have a problem with uh, the two of them being deployed to defense. It, 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 you see, in uh, psychology, the best way we predict um, somebody's uh, future behavior is by looking at the past. And um, Matawale particularly failed uh, in security in Zafar. So I don't know what he's bringing to the table as, um, you know, Minister of State for Defense. That, for me, is a big, uh, is a big problem. And uh, we need to confront insecurity squarely. Mm. And uh, I had expected... Um, uh, some other personnel there, not uh, Badaru and uh, Matawale. For me, it's, it's, it, that's, it, another, that's a mismatch. They look at the case of a uh, professor, uh, the case of uh, Abubakar Momo. Mm. He's the one in charge of youth. Momo, from his uh, profile, is no less than 63 years. For me, it's wrong. You know, see, if, they, if you look at um, the generational gap, between uh, him as an elder statesman. Because, look, let me tell you, senior citizenship starts from the age 60. So even if Momo, if Momo is 63, he is not a youth by any stretch of imagination or definition. So you mean that you can't find a vibrant youth, even from the list that um, we have at the moment? I, I can see one or two uh, uh, youthful um, the minister designates that are uh, uh, about a 40 that could have been deployed to that ministry. But they are, they are sent to somewhere else. I had expected uh, what's the name of uh, this uh, lady, you know, that they sent, that is sent to uh, Ministry of uh, Humanitarian Affairs. She's about 40 and she could have uh, it would have made a very huge difference. Sending a woman to the Ministry of, uh, of Youth and a youth at that. See, for me, I have mm. often described the relationship between women and the youth as inseparable to so. I see the two as, you know, just made for mm -hmm. each other. And uh, even uh, the president that they're uh, taking a, uh, uh, a, a lady that is about 40 or under 40, because he has one or two of them in his uh, uh, list, to youth, rather than appoint an elder statesman as a youth minister. For me, it's a very serious mismatch. And then uh, an insult on uh, the youthful population of Nigeria. It permit me to use that word. Mm. It, for me, it's very sensitive. The president ought to appoint a youth. We have very competent <laughs> youths in Nigeria. Very, very competent. ICT compliant, go to the ICT world and see what Nigerian youth are doing there. They are all over the world doing wonders. And you brought in an analog man, an analog politician, a man that should be, that is already heading towards his departure lunch, you know, he, as the youth minister. It's wrong. It's, it doesn't show that the president really uh, uh, values a uh, the youth population. And don't forget, the population of Nigeria is predominantly youth. So that is where you have the reservoir, the working population that you need to really galvanize. You need somebody who is youthful. You need somebody who is a youth. You need somebody who can speak the language of the youth. Professor Memo cannot. Professor Momo has been a politician. He's been in the House of Reps for two times. He ran for Senate two times or so and failed. And he left APC for PDP and back and now. Yeah, this, this is just a compensation. You, you think, I you don't think, think it's right. You think the president missed a good opportunity to kind of reconcile with the youth, uh, uh, connect the with I'm the make, youth. That, that's the point I'm making. The president himself cannot do it. He doesn't have the time. He doesn't have age on his side. You need somebody who can mix, mingle with these people, speak their language. You know, I would not be surprised... If uh, Professor Momo has not checked his email in the last uh, one month. <laughs> well, you can't, sure. you can't say for sure. You can't say for sure. 
Christ, I, I'm, I'm very serious about this. You need, you see, the, the, you have the, 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 the people who are the youth today are the Gen Z's, gener generation, generation Z. Hmm. That is the truth. So whoever is more than 40 cannot run the affairs of the youth yeah. effectively. It does not matter how we want. See, the, 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 the spirit may be willing, but the body will not be able to do some of these things. Mm -hmm. You need to engage the youth. You need yeah. to, you know, call them out, engage them. We have the dress the way they dress, talk the way they talk, and sell the, sell the, the policies of government to them and get their buy-in to be able to support the uh, a, a, a President uh, um, Bola Amir Tinubu. Because okay. that is the reservoir. Yeah, all, all, the, all the ministries are quite critical. Are you satisfied with Wale Do, um, being the Minister of Finance, coordinating and coordinating yes, Minister of Economy? Okay. I, I, I think, I think Wale Do is okay because he, he's an economist. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have known him even before now. He has been um, very, very um, uh, deep uh, in, 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 and strategic in his thinking about the economy. I mm -hmm. think he, he knows what is going on there. So he's a training and a cognitive experience, both educational qualification and what he has been doing in the last uh, one decade, um, show that uh, he should be able to coordinate that sector well. Mm -hmm. I also think that Professor Pate is a, a good one. Professor Pate is an expert in uh, public health, and uh, he has been a global uh, icon you know, in that area. So bringing him to coordinate the health uh, sector is quite good. It's a proper... Is a proper deployment. Yeah, another and one is the Minister of Petroleum. Uh, we're not yet sure what that what's going on with that. Although yeah, we know normally, that normally yeah, the president wants to retain the office of uh, the Minister of Petroleum. Yes, it's an anomaly. It was started by a person job. Person job appointed him as Minister of Petroleum for no reason. The Buhari repeated the same thing, and Tinubu is following uh, the same uh, process. Otherwise, what stops him from uh, announcing the Minister of, of Petroleum? He didn't do that. So for now, we have to believe that he is holding that petroleum up. A, somebody like we came, you know, brought to FCT as minister. Well, we is a project person, you know, yeah. and uh, FCT uh, needs um, a rugged hand. FCT, I live here. FCT is a shadow of itself. You know, the place has been uh, under undermanaged. Uh, uh, you know, there is what you call Abuja master image. It's mm. been lost to the kind of uh, administration uh, that uh, the uh, territory has been exposed to in the last term, uh, uh, perhaps one or two decades. I think that we should be able to make a difference. However, if I had my way, I would have sent a uh, week to... To, to works or power okay. and bring Omahi here. You mm. know, because um, it, we, we have an emergency situation in power sector. And the person that is in power, I don't know his background. I don't see, I don't know. Maybe he's an expert there. I, I was trying to research around you. I haven't quite found anything to show that uh, he will be able to handle the power sector. Are you I really uh, don't do, know. Do you, are you, what do you, what's your take on um, the aviation sector? Aviation sector is where well, you have Festus Kayamo there, a legal luminary, a lawyer. Festus Kayamo, Festus Kayamo is a lawyer. That's his life. He, that's what he has been all his life. You know, Festus Kayamo knows no jack about aviation and aeronautic uh, space engineering. Nothing. So it's a mismatch, obviously. He will struggle to perform there. And that's a fact. You see, when you put, when you bring fish out of water, it will struggle to survive outside water. Even if a, if a Jesus Kermo, uh, was uh, retained as um, a substantive minister of labor, because he was there for seven years with Ikige, he knows where they stopped and should know where to uh, continue as the substantive minister of uh, labor. I believe it would have been a better deployment. Hmm. For me, I may be wrong in that uh, presumption, but taking him to aviation uh, and um, aviation and uh, aeronautic space uh, 
uh, uh, you know, ministry. It is something, don't forget, it's almost a new ministry because when you bring in the arm aeronautic uh, space, you are bringing, it's, it's, it's a modification of aviation ministry. That means you have things even new to bring in there. You need somebody who is really knowledgeable in that area. He's a lawyer. Yes, he's a lawyer, and lawyers, uh, arguably, uh, you know, they call themselves learned, uh, learned people. The rest of us are not uh, <laughs> are not learned. We agree with them. What they mean by that is that they take time to study uh, uh, almost everything. So they have a, a perspective to everything in order to defend their clients who could be anybody. Yes, I understand that. It means that... Uh, uh, his background as a lawyer will give him uh, that uh, capacity to research in the area. But it will never be the same as uh, bringing in an expert who has been in that field in the last uh, one or two decades. The person would have, over, over, over time, studied the area, understand what the problems are, and knows precisely the uh, policy alterations that are needed and hit the ground running from day one. But this guy hasn't uh, been involved in that uh, area at all. So he lacks the training in that area. He lacks a cognitive, a cognitive experience in that area. And we'll have to really learn, learn on the job. Learning on the job here yeah, means that he has to, uh, he, he needs time. He has to struggle for some time. Also, let me also say, Yes, the overall argument is that, uh, you say the minister is uh, the head of uh, administration and order. I don't think so. The minister is not the head of administration in the ministry. The head of administration in the ministry is the permanent secretary. The, 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 the minister is the chief policy driver. He's the one that is driving the policy of, uh, the, of, of, uh, the, of the president. He's the one that is, he has to download, you know, he has to download the policy of, uh, of the president of the party in the sector to uh, implementation level. That is the job of the minister, not administration. So those who say, well, it's administrative, it is not right to just, that is a secondary concern. The reason you have the permanent secretary in the ministries is to anchor administration. That's the truth. Policy, policy making, policy implementation, policy direction. That is the foundational uh, um, responsibility of the minister. And that is why I said that this mismatch uh, deployment will cause a problem because you need why do to... You think, why do you think that President Tinubu is making these same decisions? I don't want to call them mistakes, but these same decisions because in the last administration, we had some of the ministers who, towards the end of their tenure, re revealed that they knew nothing about the sectors, the ministries uh, they were sent to, and talk about education, talk about uh, Arab Shalan, you know, they knew nothing about where they were sent to, and so that probably... So why are we seeing that, that, a repeat of it. such? Politics. Tinubu, this is, like I told you, this is a compensation list. He's just settling the people that helped him win an win election. Otherwise, uh, the ten, nine to ten uh, governors he, he brought on have nothing new to offer Nigerians, as far as I am concerned, because the motivation is not there. One is that they have, they have been chief executives of the states for eight years. You know, some of them have even been minister before. Someone like Wiki, you know, was minister of the uh, state for education. And later, uh, he became uh, the uh, acting substantive minister when Professor Rukiatu uh, Rufai left. You know, Wiki, Wiki coordinated the entire education. So Wiki was, was a minister 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and he's back now. Is back as a minister again after serving as a governor of River State for eight years in between. So you wonder where it comes to motivation, what such persons will be bringing to the table. In organizational psychology, there's what we call burnout. You know, you do something for too long, you begin to lose uh, interest. You mm. need fresh challenges. You understand that? That is why I said, well, because... Um, uh, FCT 
is a, like a state. He's coming here, he will see it as a kind of continuation of governorship. Like yes, a mayor. In that sense. You know, that's it. Because, you know, ordinarily, the president is the governor of uh, FCT. But because he wouldn't have the time, he has to appoint somebody. But he doesn't go by the designation of governor. He goes by the designation minister. But actually, the job of the minister of FCT is the job of a governor of a state. Everything you have in the state is what you have here. So when you talk about a mandate a secretariat, these are commissioners. Mm -hmm. When you hear secretary of education in FCT, that is commissioner of education in FCT. Instead, you call them commissioners in FCT, they are called secretaries. So we can, uh, will be fine because he will continue the job. It's only scenario that has changed for him. But like I said, I would have preferred that we can, uh, because of his energy, because of his greed, I would have preferred him in a place like power. You know, because we, we need to really resolve the problem of power. If it's something we get to, 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 to defense, would that be better? I'm mm -hmm. very serious. Mm -hmm. You need to look, these are sectors that must be gotten right. And that is one of the reasons I... Yeah, we get should have gone to defense. He has this military yes. thing about him. He has this... Uh, yes. he has the background of dealing with the militancy and all those things. So he and, and someone like uh, Festus Keamo, I believe he's, he's, an, he's a brilliant man. I think Festus Keamo is an intelligent man, but I'm not sure if putting him in aviation would give him the platform to shine. I think... Uh, I don't... It don't. It, it don't. He will not shine in aviation. You understand that? Mm. He, Festus will not shine in aviation. I know that Festus giving the chance would give a, 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 you know, even a, a, a his right arm to go to uh, the office of uh, the attorney general, mm -hmm. even as minister of, even as, even as minister of state. Do you understand that? He wouldn't want to be in aviation or things like that. You know, just like they posted the Alake to a solid general. Alake is, is an ace journalist. Yeah. You know, one of the best we have uh, produced. Yeah, he's, he's a solid in, uh, journalist. In, uh, let, 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 let me quickly uh, mention the, the uh, 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 Latif, right? Latif Fabwemi, mm. son, deployed to uh, uh, Office of Attorney General as a substantive minister of justice. He's another round peg in a round hole. Okay. He's, a, he's a very brilliant lawyer, very experienced. He is not uh, overly uh, given to politics, so he will focus on uh, the uh, uh, nitty gritty of the job and leave uh, politics to politicians. The women are few on this list. I think. What was your take yeah, on really, <laughs> There are really a few. And um, even, uh, um, uh, the, 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 you know, Stella, the lady coming from Exim Bank, yeah. you know, was uh, sort of dropped or yet to be cleared. So it leaves uh, the, 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 the list. And the rest of them are actually deployed as a minister of state. Only Uju, Uju uh, Kennedy, um, or Anenye, Hmm. is uh, deployed as a substantive minister of uh, women affairs. The rest are deployed as minister of state. That means they have to act and work under, under coordinating ministers or substantive ministers. You know, for me, it's not really good. We need to give uh, our women more, a, a better latitude to really show what they can do. It also be beyond the Ministry of Women Affairs. That was why I was saying that. Why, you know, didn't uh, the president consider sending sending somebody like um, somebody like uh, 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 Honorable uh, Onye Georgia to 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 use a ministry? She's she's youthful. She's not yet fifty, you know. So and a woman and somebody who is fairly youthful and fairly exposed should be able to bring some change, mm -hmm. some kind of a. You know, there is something about optics. You know, when you deploy people properly, when you deploy people properly, there is that public perception that this person can perform. Mm. But when you don't deploy them properly and the optics is pointing to a round peg in a, in a square hole, you already have a problem of public support from day one because people have the impression that this person is not likely to, su to succeed. So the person will really have to work extra hard 
to be able to convince the people that he or she can they can perform. And it does appear that women, I don't think the women have been fairly treated. Okay, before. and it does appear that the Niger Delta Ministry may have been scrapped. It has been scrapped, and I don't think it is right. It's a legal issue. It's a creation of the law, and then um, scrapping it all together. I really don't know uh, why you scrapped that and then uh, created new ministries. Are we not saying that the problem of the uh, Niger Delta uh, does not uh, require ministerial uh, intervention? You know, because uh, it means that all we have now is, uh, NDDC. is uh, the, the NDDC. There was a reason, there was a reason Jonathan created the Ministry of I think Niger it was Delta. Yara Dua that created that in Yara 2008. Dua, right? yes. You know, yes, uh, as part of the deal, when he was trying to bring peace to that area. You know, if uh, the ministry has not performed, it may not be because of the mandate of the ministry being uh, uh, irrelevant or unnecessary. It may be because of the kind of people that have manned the place, including the incumbent um, Senate president. He was one time the minister of uh, Niger Delta. And at a point, he himself was even saying, don't judge me by my performance uh, when I was minister of uh, Niger Delta. Yeah. So by self-admittance, he was telling Nigerians that he didn't do well as a minister. So why don't you look for who can? You understand that? Yes. So somebody like Weekend would have done excellently well in Niger Delta because that's his terrain. You seem, you you seem to have a lot of confidence in Weekend, he's some Weekend. No, I'm not Weekend's fan, but Weekend, you, 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 can, you must give it to him. He has a lot of energy, a lot of vision, <laughs> a lot of ideas. You know, for me, he, he's, he's a He's rugged. Leader. He's rugged. Very rugged. Nigeria needs, uh, you know, that, that is why I am not happy that Erufai dropped off. I am not a fan of Erufai, but Erufai and we can share a lot of things in common. And they have that grit. They have that grit. They have that determination. Once they set their mind to get anything done, they do it and do it well. You know, if you remove uh, security from Erufai's uh, record as minister of as a minister of FCT and then uh, and um, uh, governor of uh, Kaduna. He performed brilliantly well in Kaduna. He brought in a lot of innovations, you know, though he clearly failed in the area of, uh, of uh, security. But here we're not talking about security. Someone like Erufai could have fixed power if he has the, if he's given the opportunity to really run power, he can do well in power. He can even return as minister of FCT and restore order, order, and the master image of FCT. Which he, which he actually succeeded in doing when he was when he was minister here. Erufai restored Abuja's master image. He did when he was minister here. But overall, you know, what's I, your score of this whole portfolio assignment? This well, let, let me let, let me you know be generous and patriotic. Let me give it fifty percent. Hmm. Okay. It can be more than that. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Law Mefo. It's been very, very um, exciting listening to you analyze this. The pleasure world. is mine. Thank, thank you for you. hosting me. Have a blessed day, Nigerians. You too. Well, that was Law Mefo, Dr. Law Mefo, who joined us to take a look at uh, President Tinubu's list of ministerial nominees and the portfolios that have been assigned to them. We'll be going to break now to come back with a second hot topic. Do stay with us. We want to discuss Niger and the crisis there. Stay with us.